In today's video, I'm going to show you a step-by-step -step way for creating a WordPress website from scratch. We're going to be able to do it without any technical skills and in about 10 minutes. Now, in order to create a website from scratch, including WordPress website, you need two things. You need a domain name. So that's the website URL that we're going to get. We're going to be able to get that with this provider as well. And we need web hosting. Someone has to host your website on the internet. So we're going to use Hostinger for this video. I've partnered with them for this video because I think they make it very, very easy to install a WordPress website in just a few minutes. I'll include a link to this page in the description. They've also given me a discount code that gives you even more discount than what you see on this page. It gives you an additional 10%. So I'll go ahead and give you that in a second. I'm gonna choose this business website builder plan because it has some AI tool integrations. If you're trying to sell something later, like physical products, there's a whole e-commerce section too. But as you can see, very affordable plan. I'm gonna choose this one. And on this page, you could decide how long you want your website hosting. If you're doing this long-term, obviously you're gonna keep this for the long-term. So by default, it's set to four years. But if you just wanna try this out for a year or a couple of years, in this case, I'll do 24 months. And then you'll see your total. And the coupon code over here, I'm gonna type in my coupon code. And I'll include this in the description below this video so you could copy and paste it. And if you apply this coupon code, you should get an additional 10% off over here on top of the discounted price, continue and go through the checkout process. Now, once you go through the checkout process, you land on this page, pretty straightforward process here. So I'm gonna go ahead and set up the business hosting here, go through these questions, is for my business, press next. I wanna create a website, press next. And we're gonna choose the WordPress option. They do have another option too that is not WordPress, but in this video, I'm specifically covering a WordPress install, but they have their own website builder, which is also very beginner friendly to use, drag and drop kind of interface. So you could explore this on your own as well. Right now, let's do the WordPress build here. Okay, next you need to create yourself a WordPress account. So this is different than your hosting your account. That was for your hosting, this is for WordPress. So putting your admin email, this is gonna be the email that you're gonna to use to log into WordPress and your password here. Now here, you're gonna have some options to choose from. So I'm gonna create a website for my business, but if you wanna create a blog type of website, you could choose this option. Now, a lot of it, since it's WordPress, is gonna be customizable later. Now, this is really cool. This website builder, this is a website builder with AI. So you could choose this option and the AI goes through building your business. You could also choose from preset templates. I'll show you this option actually. Now they have a lot of different pre-built templates to choose from. So choose one that you like. Again, it's gonna be customizable, but this is gonna make it easier so you don't have to start from scratch down here. You could actually create a blank site, but I like to always start from a template. You could preview them too but I'm gonna select this one. And WordPress, if you're not familiar with it, they work with plugins. So a lot of the functionality of WordPress comes from other third-party plugins. So it's making some recommendations. So for example, All-in-One SEO is a really good plugin to help you with SEO ranking in Google search. And you have this one for forms. So I recommend just check the four that they have here and press next. Now with the plan I showed you, you also get a free domain name. So your website address, you could get it for one year for free. All you have to do is type in the domain name here and type .com. If the .com is not available, it's gonna give you some other options over here as well. You could always choose a temporary domain down here too if you're not sure to create a placeholder and then you could choose this a little bit later. But this is gonna be free for our first year. So I'm gonna choose this one for now. Now choose your country, choose if you're making a company website or a personal website, fill out your information here and press finish registration. Now it's gonna ask you where your target audience is. Well, I'm making this website mostly for a US audience. So it's picking this location for me, but it has few different locations to deliver the fastest experience based on your location. If you're going worldwide again, not that big of a deal. You could just choose the one that's closest to you. Press next. Now, this whole process is gonna be done automatically here. It's gonna install WordPress. This used to be a very time consuming process. If you just went to the wordpress.org website and tried to get it there and install it on your own host, these type of hosts take care of all that for you, all the technical things that you don't really need to worry about. Okay, in a few seconds, it's gonna install WordPress for you. You're gonna see this page right here. And if I go ahead and press preview, it's gonna actually load my website with that theme that I chose. Remember you had the AI option as well that would help you build your website using AI. This was one of the themes I chose. And obviously all this needs to be edited for me to use my own images, my own text. So we're gonna go ahead and do that next. I'm gonna to go to the WordPress admin panel right over here on top. 
Now that's gonna bring us inside of WordPress and I'll show you the more traditional layout of WordPress, but I really like this page because all you need to do is you could actually select any text over here and all you have to do is write your own text. Website building made simple. And with any of the text, by the way, you have this panel right here. So if you wanna change any of the formatting, you have that available here. You have this whole menu if you need to duplicate things, copy things, you have an option to ask AI if you have that plan. And on the right side of the page as well, any of these blocks, you see this rectangle here that I'm selecting, any of them have their own styling options too. So you can actually choose different things. For example, if I want to change the typography of this one, I could choose different fonts. It's set to default, but if I wanna change it, it's really easy to make any type of customization. I usually like to pick themes because a professional designer has picked the colors and the fonts and things like that. So the editing is pretty minimal here. All you have to really do is copy and paste your own text that you have or type out your own text here. So go through the rest of this page, anything that you need to change, again, double click to change any text. All these sections too are changeable. Let me go to an image section because let's say we want to change this image right over here. So if you need to change an image, I have a selected on the right side. We have this general panel here. Here is the image and I want to go ahead and change that out. Right here inside of WordPress, you could go ahead and drag and drop any picture. You could also check your media library. So anything that has previously been uploaded, you could find it from here. You could also search images. There's plenty of royalty free images available to choose from. Let's say in this case, I wanna look for a computer and I like this one. I'm gonna go ahead and insert that into my website. And there you go. And then same thing with every other text, go through the rest of the page and make any changes that you need to. And on the left side here, you could actually add things too. So if the template doesn't have what you're looking for, you could go ahead and drag and drop anything that you see. For example, this one added this image right here and I could choose from the media library again. Let's choose a different image. Let's see what this one looks like. Insert that in. You're gonna be able to choose the size. So I'll choose this large one, insert. And that's gonna add that over here. And then I have all these different options. So on the right side, it lets you customize anything you add from the left side. And if you hover over anything, here is to add a heading. And that's what a heading looks like. And then you could go ahead and place this anywhere within that page. So if you wanna center it, for example, all your styling is on the right side of the page. You have images that I showed you. You could add icons from here. You could add buttons from here. There's a whole info box that you could add. Just click, it's gonna add this. Again, fully customizable. And then the call to action, this is like this type of button you could go ahead and select again. And then on the right side, make any type of editing, change the styling, the colors, and the fonts. Now, once you're done with this, you just have to press save on top. This is gonna save all the changes that you made to this page. And let me click this WordPress icon right on top because this will take you to the more traditional WordPress layout. This is probably the WordPress layout if you've ever used WordPress that you're used to. So the Hostinger icon right here brings us back to some of the settings that we have because we're using Hostinger. But the regular WordPress, if I go to the dashboard right over here, I'm gonna see more things that are traditional WordPress type of things. But the one thing I wanna show you is if you go to the Pages tab, right over here. These are the different pages you have. So the front page, the home page, is what we edited. Anytime you could press edit to go back there. But for example, if I wanna edit the about page, I could edit the about page from directly from here. It takes us back to the same type of layout and we'll go ahead and edit this page next. If I go back to WordPress, this time I'm not gonna save this one because we didn't make any changes. I will go through and make changes to all the pages that come pre-installed because of the theme that you chose. And if you wanna make any new pages, just press add new page and go through the page building process from scratch. But this has all the basic pages that we need for this type of a website. And then you also have this post section. So when you create posts on WordPress, if you're doing any type of blogging, this is where you wanna post it. You don't wanna create a page, you wanna create a post. And for blogging, that's exactly how these get created as posts and creates a new post from here. Now, directed from WordPress, if we hover over the Hostinger tab right here, we could actually go back to the home page or to the website page. This one, I'm gonna go back to the website page. This is the first place where we created this website here. And I'm gonna go to the dashboard of Hostinger here. And anything else I need to set up, I could do from here. The customization takes place in WordPress but anything else related to hosting takes place on this page. And the website is live right now, so I could just click this right here. 
I could see the website techytutorials.io is the domain name I picked and all the changes that I just made they are already live on the website so if anytime I want to make any changes to this website I could go back to the WordPress admin here and if you go to the left side in the WordPress tab and go to overview here if you just want to be in maintenance mode so others won't be able to discover your content you could actually turn this on while you're making any kind of edit so that is an option so now if someone goes to techytutorials.io this is the page they're gonna see they're not gonna see your content until you're done editing everything in WordPress and then you could go ahead and turn this back off and then they'll be able to see your website and by the way your hosting your plan allows you to make a hundred websites so if you have other ideas just go to this tab right here this website name press add website and it's gonna bring you to this page again the same thing I covered in the beginning you'll go through the entire website process website creation process and you could test out the hosting your website builder which is kind of different than WordPress so if you're used to WordPress choose this again if you're making a personal blog for example very straightforward up to 100 websites on the same hosting plan and it's that easy to make a WordPress website completely from scratch I hope you found this video useful and I'll see you on the next one